Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sudoku U. Yes, this is a short series of puzzles I'm putting together that wasn't submitted as a series of puzzles. But what I've been sent is a set of puzzles that are mostly by students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards who run a university class called Puzzles and Paradoxes. And these are puzzles that have been put together by their students. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together and run a mini series over the next few days of the puzzles that have been sent through. Now, I'm expecting to get more puzzles as time progresses, or at least I hope I am, from um, the Sudoku U class. Um, but oh, basically the Palsals and Paradoxes class. But um, I thought it would be fun to just bundle these together and um, and see what happens. Now, I, I think it's really cool that we're teaching critical thinking and ways and all that sort of stuff to students. When I was at uni, it was all very much learned by rote, put stuff down, answer by rote. There were, the critical thinking skills came in ways that were a little bit different. And the the whole concept of problem solving was not presented in the way of here's how using, I found solving, Sudo, I, I didn't finish that thought, but I have found solving Sudoku has actually been incredibly helpful in my job because when I'm presented with challenging problems, I have different logical ways of thinking of it. Now, I was already good at that and I did that sort of stuff for fun, but a lot of the concepts I've learned and I've honed through trying to do Sudoku, and trust me, I'm not saying I'm one of the best Sudoku people out there, I am not, but it has really helped me. So actually teaching people that um, logic and all of this sort of stuff matters is so good. So with that in mind, from Sudoku U, here is Bounce House by I. Fletcher. Now, I. Fletcher is a returning student. I've covered a puzzle by I. Fletcher before. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at the puzzle, shall we? Welcome to Sudoku U. So, Bounce House by I. Fletcher. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Um, we've got digits in cages, some to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Um, digits may not repeat within cages, though within this um, they couldn't. I'm actually becoming very heavily towards the expressing the full rules of a constraint, even if that rule can't be, um, isn't actually required for this particular puzzle after what happened has happened recently on the channel. Um, so I'm starting to be, I've seen people like trim rule constraints when it's not relevant. And I'm, I'm starting to be a little bit against that because people start assuming that everyone knows how the constraint works. And those assumptions can cause problems for newer solvers. But moving on. Along thermos, digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. So that means this digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. They cannot stay the same. Well, they couldn't anyway because they're all in the same box, but they cannot go down. And digits in bordered circles must be odd. So that's what we've got. We've also got some given digits, which is nice. I also like that they teach that providing given digits isn't a negative in a puzzle. So often, and I do it when I'm setting, I will turn around and say, what clue can I use to, to break this puzzle open or to make it that the solver has enough information to, to give this good flow? And I completely forget I can give digits it's it's amazing so I'm glad that they teach that I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot a given digit is often much more elegant than putting in a new constraint or just putting too many clues in excellent anyway what do I know? The thing that's calling out to me the most is this thermo, because these digits must be higher than five, yet this can't be higher than seven, because nine, eight, seven, because this must go up. So this must be six or seven. This must be seven or eight. This must be eight or nine. Because if I didn't do this, if this can't be, this has to be higher than five. But um, yeah, these have to increase. So this becomes this run. I can't think of another way of explaining that. Um, the other way of explaining it would be, this has a maximum of nine, this has a maximum of eight, this has a maximum of seven, and then I could have put in the minimum digits they could be while maintaining the, the run. This is just one, two, or four, because it has to be lower than five and it can't be three. Um, 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 um. 
Now this digit is actually quite constrained. This is seven or nine because it's an odd digit and it sees one, three, and five. I can also see three is in one of those two cells by Sudoku because three, these threes are knocking three out of there and I can't put three in a 15 cage without making that a 12. So this can't be one, three, or five either. That's a seven, nine pair in the column, which means this can't be seven or nine, but this is a 22 cage. Now a 22 cage, First of all, it must have a nine in it, because if I don't put a nine in it, I'm running with eight, seven, six, and eight, seven, six only sums to 21. So there is a nine in it. I can't put the nine there because of the seven, nine pair. Now, I'm either running with five, eight, or six, seven, because the other digits sum, once I take nine out, I'm summing to 13, but I can't use nine, four, for many reasons. Um, so it's eight, five, or six, seven, and I'm not sure which it is, but there must, oh no. So there's an odd digit in here with, so there's either a five or a seven in here. So these can't, uh, no, I'm not sure. Well, where is nine in this column? Nine in this column is in one of those two, because I can't put nine Oh, this is an 8-9 pair. Because I can't put 8 here. This is an 8-9 pair. That's really cool. So where do I put 8 and 9 in the in this column? Um, because if I put 8 here, this becomes 9 and this would become 10. And that doesn't work. And I can't put it lower down the thermo. That's just silly. And the same is true here. So these are the only places 8 and 9 can go. Now, that means 8 and 9 are in each of those as well. That can't be 9. But this is the bolt hole for eight in this. So th this isn't an eight, nine pair and it doesn't force eight into there yet. Do I want to mark this thermo? Now 15. Huh. I'm not sure if I just want to fully pencil mark these thermos. Because maximum nine, maximum eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five. This is one, two, three, or five. It can't be four, but now it starts getting ridiculous. Well, it can't be five because of this five. So this is only one, two, three, but then two, three, four, six, three, four, six, seven, and that's just silly. Four, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. This is just silly. I can tell five is in one of the five is in one of those three because I can't put five in a fifteen cage, and I can't put five in any of those. Three is in one of those two, because this three is knocking three out of those, and I can't put three above five in a thermo. Oh, that's, mm, that's it. So where is three in this box? So I can't put three down here, and because three has to be in one of those two because of this thermo, I can't put three in those. So three is in one of those three, but three, two, one, zero, minus one doesn't work. Three, two, one, zero doesn't work. So this becomes three, and then I need to go down, two, one. I now know what these digits are. They're five, six, and seven, and I know the order, five, six, seven, because they have to increase, which makes this eight and nine. This was actually quite that was a beautiful break in. I just was looking in the wrong place. This three did beautiful work and I missed it. I'm sorry about that. So seven, eight, and nine, seven, eight, and nine come out of there. And this becomes six, four, three, two, one. Absolutely stunning. I just completely missed it. The two and the one look down, making this the four. Absolutely beautiful. I just completely missed it. These are six, seven, eight, nine. But this 11 now, well, it could be two, nine. It can't be three, eight. It can't be four, seven. It could be five, six. No, it can't be five, six because I can't put either five or six in that cell. So this is two, nine. But I'm not sure the order yet. 
So what's this 14? It's not 9, 5. And it's not 7, 7. 7, 7 is impossible. So this is 6, 8. So I know what these two cells are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this 5 makes that the 7, which makes this the 5. The 7 looks up making this the 6. It makes that the 8. That becomes the 9, which makes that the 2 and that the 9. This is really sweet. This is very nicely done. So this becomes a 1, 3. This 9 makes that the 7, which looks up making that the 9. And now I can't put a 9 in this 15 cage. I can't put a 9 there because of that. I can't put a 9 there because of that. So this can't be 6, 9. So it's 7, 8. This is incredibly well designed and very smooth. Nine is in one of those two now because this nine knocks it out of up here. This can't be a nine and this nine knocks it out. So nine is in one of those two, but this nine here is looking down. So this is the nine. Now I've got to put a four in here. Four, seven, eight, nine of what these are. Well, eight is in one of those two because of this. No, they're not four, seven, eight, nine. Four, four, six. So these are from four, six, and seven. And there's no six there. This is four, seven. And because, right, so this is a six, eight pair looking up because the six and the eight can't go in those two cells. And because that's on a thermo, I know the order. That's putting four and four is putting four in those two, but that four knocks it out of there. So that becomes the four. The six, eight, I'm not sure how that's resolved yet. I'll get back to it. But this is a triple. This is a one, two, three triple, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But this is, if this is one, two, three, this, if this is one, this is eight. If it's two, it's at seven. If it's three, it's six. But it can't be seven or eight. So this is six, this is three, and I can take three out of those. Now I know these triples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I can't put six in an odd circle. This is a triple. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are 1, 2, and 5. There's no 1 there because of that. Oh, this 3 takes 3 out of there. Okay. It's probably this 22 cage again if I look now. Actually, I'm not sure it is. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 7, 8, 9. I've had those for a while. And there's no 9 there. Right. Right, right. So this is a nice little trick that sometimes comes up, and I'm probably talking too basic at the moment, but this must have a 7 or an 8 in it. Because a 22 cage, as I said earlier, once I take the 9 out, I need to make 13. Now, I can't use 9, 4 for various reasons. I've already used the 9 in the cage, and the 4 is over here. Now, the only other ways of making 13 are 8, 5, and 7, 6. Now, if I use the 8, 5 in here, this becomes 7. And if I use the 7, 6, this becomes 8. So no other cell in the row can be six, uh, 7 or 8. So that, right there, has to be the 3. Don't know that that's particularly useful, but it's true. Um, seven is in one of those two. Mm. Oh, I know what these two are. This isn't the three. This is the three. These are actually one and two, and this one makes that the two and that the one. This becomes a seven or an eight for the box. That's not a five. This it, oh, this one looks back making that a two and that a one. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll stick a nine in there. And these are five, seven, eight, but that's not a seven or an eight because of the column. That's the five. This is a seven, eight pair. So this odd sees seven, five, and nine. So this is one or three, and their three makes it a one, which looks down making this the three and this the one. The two digits I'm missing from here are two and six. And now the question is, where does six go in this row? 
because I can't put six here because it's in one of those two cells and I can't put six here, it's in one of those two cells. So in the row, the six must go in this cage. So I've got nine and six, which sums to 15, the other digit to get to 22, this is six, seven and nine. Now we know there's no nine in the middle. Oh, there's no nine there. I could have put that nine in as soon as I got that nine, I just didn't do it. So this is a six, seven pair. Now, is that resolved? Yes, the seven looks up making that the six and that the seven. The seven looks across making that the eight and I can take the eight. Well, I am very inaccurate with my mouse today. This is a triple one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's no three or four there. That's the five and the three and the four came out because of those. The five looks, oh, the one and the five look back making that the two, which in that cell makes that the five. This becomes the one. Um... Um, 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 um. This six looks down, making this the eight, and this the six, which makes this the eight. The eight looks up, making this the seven, which makes this the eight, which makes this the seven, which makes this the eight. Okay, let's look at triples in columns. Actually, let's look at pairs first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a five, eight pair, and I'll use that eight to make that the five and that the eight. Um, yeah, now let's look at the triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, and four. There's a one, two there. So this becomes the four, and I'll take the four out of those. Um, this is a one, two pair in the row. So we know what this is. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one resolves the one, two pair. Um, this one, of course, made this the two. These are one, two, three, four, and five. The five here makes this the four and this the five. The four makes this the three and this the four. Um, the eight looks over here, making this the nine and this the eight. The nine looks across, making this the seven and this the nine. The seven looks back, making this the six and this the seven. And the six looks back, making this the two and this the six. <laughs> Very true. So the puzzle is correct. And please don't miss the Sudoku Con 24 hour puzzle live stream starting 5th of November. Now, I think this puzzle is coming out after this is made live. So, yeah. Um, Sven has been putting into his pop-ups. Please don't miss the Sven Sudoku Con live stream. So um, this is something that's coming up in Sudoku Pad. Um, so you'll see this in a few videos that I'm recording because I record in advance. So um, yes, I hope you don't miss this, but I think this video is coming out after the live stream has happened. Um, so hopefully you didn't miss it. Um, you'll see this in a few videos. There's not much I can do about that. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos in the Sudoku U series that's coming up. Thanks everyone and as always, good luck with your solving.